how are, how are things at uh, Skoda overall uh, around the world and uh, specifically uh, back here in India? I think uh, the Skoda factories in Europe obviously shut down like the rest of the factories. Um, they were started back up again in, in, in May, in early May, and now the factories are back up, not quite at full capacity because we have to manage the social distancing. So we're producing less jobs per hour than, than is at full capacity. Um, the dealerships are open and businesses is, is starting again. But actually, this is also a similar situation to what is happening in, in India as the economy and businesses opened up. So our factory uh, should be in, in Pune and Aurangabad. We have started producing cars again. We've got less jobs per hour. So we're running about half of a normal capacity. Uh, but we're running. We're also now started on two shift system as well. So I'm quite pleased with how things are going. The new BS6 cars are being produced in Pune and also in, in Aurangabad. Yeah. And also, it's also very positive that the majority of our dealers are now open as well. Some of them with restricted people. So some in Mumbai, obviously, it's, it's only 10% of the workforce. But if you go down to the south of India, for some dealerships, we've got almost all of the, the workforce open. So what's really important is we get the workshops up and running because we need to service and look after customers' cars. That's one thing. But also with the workshops are very important for the employment of the people in our dealerships and their own welfare that we've got business going on. And, and obviously our dealers need the return and need to be doing some business. So that's happening. Zach, uh, with the cases rising in India, what are you hearing from your team here uh, here in the country? Uh, are there uh, challenges that are bigger in, in the country here than probably what you're seeing elsewhere? Definitely the challenges in India are, are bigger than elsewhere. If I look to China, one of the first markets that obviously uh, locked down, and of course, although we've got some issues now in um, in Beijing, generally speaking, China is quite open now, and we've got good demand for, for cars. And I think what's also happening in China, what we're learning from China, is that personal mobility is also becoming very important for, for the Chinese people, because they're a little bit concerned about using public transport, etc. So we're actually seeing a little bit of an uplift in, in the car market in, in China going forward. If you look at India, you know, obviously our concern in, in, in India is, is the welfare of our people, of our employees, both at the factory and also at, at the dealerships. But at the same time, we're trying to get business going again because we have got interesting cars and this is positive. So we launched the three cars um, back at the end of May and we've got really good interest in those three new cars that we launched. And as you know, should we launch those uh, digitally uh, and it was really, we had a fantastic reception for cars and it was a lot of fun putting it together as well. Right, right. we'll speak about the three cars launched uh, uh, in just a bit. Uh, but 2020 was uh, a year that was supposed to bring with it a lot of promise, especially for the VW Group and, and Skoda in particular. You, there's the India 2.0 project. So for those of us who are not really aware of what that is all about, if you can just give us an insight about uh, the India 2.0 project and what it is all about. And so, if there have been any changes to those plans, because yeah, of the so, so 2020 was what we called the, the, the bridging strategy and the bridging year, which was between our existing products ready for our new cars. And we introduced three great new products in 2020, which, as you said, we'll talk about in a moment. When it comes to India 2.0, Skoda Auto, obviously heading the whole of the Volkswagen Group business in, um, in, in India, has, has invested 8,000 crore into India, into production facilities, into network, and of course, into, into sales and marketing. So this investment has gone in and the majority of it is being spent. We are not cutting down on any of our investments in, in India. We continue with everything on, on, on track and our plan is still to launch the first of those India 2.0 cars in Q2 2021. The first is a mid-sized uh, SUV and I'm really excited about bringing the car to the marketplace. It'll be in the booming SUV segment in India, and it'll be very competitively priced because it's based on having 90 to 95% localization. And of course, as you know, it's very important in India that we have a car designed for India, and of course, made in India using local, local suppliers and local employees. This is very important if you're going to be competitive and if you can get some, some volume in India. So that's the first car that comes from India 2.0. And then the second car coming will be a, a, a sedan, that will come at the end of 2021. Right, so a, an SUV and a sedan. Now, these are two uh, separate spectrums. I mean, there is so much of demand uh, for SUVs, spe uh, specifically in India. And as a result, maybe uh, sedans have taken a beating here. So uh, what's the thought process behind getting uh, a sedan after a, an SUV? I get why an SUV, but sedan, what's, how difficult is it to actually have a product in that segment? 
I think the three box sedan shub still plays a vitally important segment in, in the marketplace for people. And let's also remember that the part of the reason why the three box sedan market has been falling is because there's been nothing new. There's been nothing new for customers. Everybody has been focusing on SUVs. Everybody's been launching uh, new SUVs in the market. Even the new entrants into India, such as Kia and MG, have started with, with SUVs. So therefore, naturally, the segment has boomed. But when we start seeing new brand new products launched into the into the sedan market then this market is here to stay and will continue i think to be a, an important segment within the indian market so i'm very excited about both of those cars <laughs>